Good morning, Steaming Bean here. Still on my weight loss journey and still coming at you from the north. Want to talk about relationships and um, weight in general. All right. So, as many of you know, uh, if you watched my last video and previous videos, I had been, um, you know, for decades, I've been dealing with um, how to deal with being overweight. Uh, weight loss journeys have come and gone. Many um, diets I have attempted. And uh, unfortunately, it took. Uh, 30 years, well, not, not unfortunately, I, you know, I finally got to a weight loss journey that I was able to stick to for over a year, uh, which is an accomplishment. You know, over a year of my life, I've had um, positive results, so got, got to um, stick with that idea. Anyways, I want to talk about relationships. Relationships and um, being overweight and it's funny, I was just thinking about this um, recently. All right, so back in the day, I had one of those coupons, two for one coupons, and uh, for a restaurant in my hometown. And of course, I had an old uh, high school friend. This would have been about 30 years ago now. And uh, we would go um, once or twice a week. Once or twice a week, and we would have a big uh, a platter of food each. I'd get a platter of food. He'd get a platter of food. And it was all, the whole plate was <laughs> deep fried. Uh, everything on that plate was fried. Man, that, you know, and sometimes, you know, we'd have a, you know, wash it down with a, with a coarse um, high-fat beer full of sugar. So... And I was just thinking, like, you know, you know, like, like a food buddy. He was basically a food buddy. It's kind of like uh, the idea of an alcoholic. When alcoholics go out and go drinking, they always have buddies with them. But uh, if any of you know alcoholics, when they um, get on the wagon and sober up and start becoming healthier. Well, those drinking buddies kind of fall to the wayside. I, I'm thinking it's the same thing with food. I've talked to uh, overeaters in the past, and um, you know they mentioned they mentioned about having food food buddies and eating buddies, if you will. And I was no, um, you know, I had that before in my life a couple of times. But what that one moment, uh, we would meet at Don Cherry's once or twice, maybe three times a week at those crazy platters. And I was wondering why in that time in the early 90s, I was packing on the pounds. Well, that's one of the many um, steps I took for my great uh, accomplishment of um, gaining excess weight. Um, relationships also... Um, People who are overweight, they always, you know, often they might have a loved one, could be in their family or outside of their family, could be friends or whatever, community, um, people that hound them on a constant basis on uh, on their health. Now, I've dealt with that. I've had, you know, uh, I'm coming from a large family and there's always been a couple of members who, in my family, who kind of pushed the envelope and I thought, went over the mark and got into my business of being overweight. Grant, that's all this press, give me kisses. Um, you know, um, so, you know, I, 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 there's parts of their life I would never have thought of um, going into, but for some reason, being an overweight guy, it became open season for them to, um, Elvis Presley, get out of my vision, man. It became it became um, open season for them. And to think that, you know, they could talk about, you know, my weight issues any old time they wanted to. And that continued outside, outside of that. Um, I'm thinking uh, maybe, was it, what was it about? Goodness, just over 20 years ago, um, 
I was part of a, uh, I was going to, I was considering joining a uh, religious community. And um, one of the reasons why I left was because constantly I felt I was bombarded with uh, people in that religious, a couple of members of that religious community that felt it was their business to, uh, to constantly bring up my weight. And I got fed up because I'm thinking with these people, like, my relationship with them on uh, on a level was always um, centered on my weight and on my eating, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, who needs that? You know, and that's one of the pivotal reasons why I left that uh, community. Besides, the community was highly dysfunctional when I, when I looked at it. You know, uh, from the outside, I thought this. Hold on, I'll settle the dogs. Looking from the outside, I really thought that this community was ideal. Then. When I moved into um, this community, um, I you know I realized how dysfunctional um, its members were. And I said, the sooner I get out of here, the better. I didn't last a year. I lasted only um, several months, and that was probably too long for my liking. Um, it's funny. It was a community. And when I joined it, it was uh, the least spiritual time of my life. You think it would have been the opposite. It should have been the opposite, but it wasn't. And uh, the faster I got out of there, the better. And I remember um, there was one fellow, kind fellow, who joined with me. And he was, you know, slightly overweight. Um, and he dropped weight fast. He dropped weight fast, this guy, without even trying. And I picked up on, this guy was depressed. This guy was suffering from depression because he was sleeping all the time. And you know, you look at his face and a lot of the energy in his face would be, you know, would droop. And I'm like, okay, this guy's depressed. But meanwhile, uh, members of the community would be patting him on the back saying, oh, you look great. You're doing a great job. Sorry, folks. When you lose weight fast and you don't have a good reason why you lost so much weight fast. You know, that, that's not a, that's not a recipe of good health. You know, he spent, he left the community around the same time I did and stepped, we more or less kept in touch. Um, but he's doing much better now without that community. So, the, you know, it's relationships. And I've talked to other people who've had, throughout their lives, have dealt with um, weight issues. And, you know, they may have had a parent who uh, went over uh, over the line. Emphas you know, that became their relationship with their parent. And, um, you know, that just saying, that's not on. That's not on. You know, um other relationships or it could be like I would mention to someone that I want to lose some weight. Um, this is the way I'm going. And all of a sudden you start getting uh, tons of advice. I didn't ask for advice. I just mentioned what my goal and what would be. Maybe it'd be acceptable to get some advice, but hold on. These dogs are wackadoodle. But, um, you know, uh, like, for example, the advice could be, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Um, just, accept the, just accept yourself the way you are. That comes from a good heart. But when I opened up to this, this friend of mine, well, I, I, was di I was just recently diagnosed as diabetic. I wasn't doing so well. You know, what my sugar levels were wackadoodle and... And um, when you start feeling signs of diabetes, uh, diabetes, it's it's time to get real and just to accept yourself. Well, if you want to accept yourself into an early grave, um, go ahead. You know, I'm not uh, afraid of going to the other side, but you know, it is what it is. But I also kind of like living, so you know, that's why I want to. Um, you know, you know, get healthy, enjoy life while I'm on this planet. You know, the, the, your body's your altar, and 
you got to treat yourself and you got to look after yourself. But be, be be mindful of those around you, you know? Just be mindful of those around you. Um, I don't buy it as sticks and stones. I don't buy that saying because words and words can hurt. And uh, I've seen that a lot with, um, you know, kids in the community where I live. You know, you show someone respect, you show someone love, and you're going to get, you know, that, that person's going to thrive uh, with you. Whereas if you just belittle someone and and uh, bring someone down, sorry, folks, that just doesn't do it. Anyways, I hope everyone's doing well. And um, peace out.